Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on a Windows computer. Now the first step is to disable or enable the Steam input. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make our icon of the game, select properties, go to controller tab, and over here, you can try disable Steam input, launch the game, and then you can check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, and then this time you can go to controller tab and select enable Steam input. So for many users, disabling Steam input has worked. So you can try disable first. If that does not work, you can try enable and then check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to select the controller which you want to use. Now for this, you can type in USB game controllers in Windows search box and then click on setup USB game controllers. Now over here you will see your controller. You can go to the now you can go to the advanced tab over here and select the controller which you want to use. So if you want to use Xbox controller, you can select Xbox controller over here. If you want to use wireless dual dual sense wireless controller, you can select the controller. So whichever controller you want to use, you can select the controller, then click on OK, and then you have to restart Steam. So exit and then relaunch Steam. And then once you re relaunch Steam, relaunch the game and then check. And for the first step also, you have to restart your game. Go to open device manager, make a active on the device manager, go to device manager. Expand human interface devices over here, expand it. Now over here, if you find this HID compliant game controller, in my case, I don't have it, but in your case, you will see like this HID game, uh, compliant game controller. If you find HID compliant game controller, uh, you can just make a right click and then click on disable device. This is just an example. And once you are done playing the game, you can just make a right click and enable HID game controller once again. So before you launch the game, you disable it and then check. If that does not work, and if you find any controller from key, chrome, keyboard, or mouse in the, over here, you can just make a right click, disable it, and then launch the game. Disconnect external keyboard if connected. If you have key, chrome, keyboard connected, disconnect it. Disconnect key, chrome, dongle. Disconnect any kind of USB or dongle, uh, USB adapter or dongle is connected to the computer. Disconnect Razer Tartarus. Unplug flight simming hardware disconnect external devices unplug hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer disconnect additional joystick or controller connected to the computer disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any kind of virtual controller like vijo etc if you find it in device manager make a right click and disable it so or you can uninstall virtual controller and then relaunch the game Next step is to PlayStation controller. Enable it in sound control panel. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box, and then go to control panel. Go to hardware and sound, and then click on sound over here. Now over here, connect your uh, PlayStation controller using the USB cable. Once the controller is once the controller is connected, it will detect your controller. And then make a right click if disable enable it and then make a right click once again go to configure speakers quadraphonic next put a check on front left and right surround speaker and then click on next click on finish okay and then you have to relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to use wired connection so connect your controller using the cable to the computer and then check PlayStation controller user can use this DS4 Windows. Uh, if you have this application installed, you can use this. I don't have DS4 Windows, so you can search in Google, you can install it, and then you can configure your controller and then check. Update controller using PlayStation or Xbox accessories app. Now, if you have Xbox controller, you can just open Microsoft Store, type in Xbox accessories app, click on Xbox accessories, and then install it. Once installed, launch Xbox Accessories app, and then you have to connect your uh, controller using the USB cable, and then it will detect your controller. Now, once the controller is connected using the USB cable, now here you can see um, controller. Click on this more option, three dots, 
and then go to update if there is any update you will see update, update option click on continue and let the update complete once the update is complete uh, now you have to relaunch the game and then check so in my case it's already up to date but still you can update even if there is no update you can just continue and let the update complete and then you can check now if you're using playstation accessories app in that case uh, you can if you're using playstation controller yeah if you're using playstation controller search for playstation accessories app go to the official playstation website download for windows and then you can run this exe file once you run this exe file install it on your computer in my case it is already installed so launch playstation accessories app and then you have to connect your controller once the controller is connected if there is any update you will see update option in my case it's already up to date so if you see update option update your controller and then you have to relaunch the game and then check now still not working the last step is to launch steam in big picture mode now for this uh, you can go to steam top right here you can see enter big picture mode icon click on it now find the game in the list over here find the game in the list click on the game and then you can launch the game when steam is in big picture mode and you can try with both steam input enable and disable and check which one is working fine for you so one of the steps shown in this video should help you uh, to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel